The Vupu Argus Pod, another new one from um, Vupu. It's uh, 1500 mAh worth of a battery. It comes with two pods and two coils, and that's the main reason I bought it actually, because it, it has the MTL coil uh, and pod, and also the RDL or DL uh, direct lung uh, pod as well. So you know, get, you get two in one basically. <laughs> And um, it, it works fairly well. I like the size of it. I'm, I'm not one keen on, uh, you know, big ones, uh, big uh, pod mods. Uh, so, um, you know, it, it is working, you know, quite well. But um, let's go and have a look at it, you know, show you the coils and, you know, the difference between them. And um, then we'll vape on it and um, I'll tell you my thoughts about it. The Vupo Argos pod, and that's the box that comes in, uh, as you can see, it's got quite a nice box in there, uh, you've got some markings there, adjustable airflow, two pod options, well, that, that's the main reason I got that one, because it's got an MTL and um, a direct one, it takes all the PNP coils, uh, that's what uh, comes with it, you got the main features there, up to 40 watts and um, uh, cozy draw activation and intelligent coil protection, okay, that's a genie. Uh, chip uh, the T team and it's a uh, 1500 um, uh, mAh worth of a built-in battery it comes with the USB-C as well I uh, will show you now that's the manual uh, it's, it's fairly concise you know quite quite good you know and legible and it tells you what you need to know so that's the uh, bit that we're interested in really the real thing it, it, it is a lovely piece of mod really nice you know that is a bit of a different shape really rather than the boxes uh, you know the box ones um, you got that bit there, and um, you, you would think that it takes a battery, it's not as a built in battery. 1500 mAh worth of a battery, then uh, you got your USB C uh, port, which is covered here, there, and it can get a bit awkward <laughs> when you're trying you know, to fit the plug in there because this one is always in the way. The plus and minus uh, buttons, uh, the screen is very, very legible. I mean, it has got my many functions to set the um, the puff counter uh, that's uh, you press the power and minus button and it tells you there puff cleared uh, to lock it you press the power and plus so that's your lock there when when, when it is on lock you get the um, you get the lock sign there um, unfortunately when you lock it nothing happens it's basically like switching it off so it doesn't work um there's nothing I mean, you can't do anything really so just as well switch it off <laughs> so press and hold again and uh, it unlocks the pods are that's the idea you know i got it uh, you know i got that one is because you get the two pods you get the um uh, the mtl pod and you get also the um, direct lung one or rdl and um you can see you know, the difference between the you know the boards is very um, you know very different in there. It comes with the two coils, a 1.2 and a 0.3. Now, if you look at the 0.3 ohm, um, that's uh, it's obviously you know a DL or um, an RDL. It it can be a DL. Um, and you can see you know it's, it's a mesh coil, and um, you know it's it's got quite a wide uh, you know diameter in there. You've got wide uh, wider holes as well in here, and the um, the air, you know, the air intake is quite quite large compared to the um, to the other one. And let's try and see whether we can read. I, I know it's a zero point three, but it's such small writing. So I can see the Vupu there. When it comes to reading the coil, there it is. There, it's a zero point three, um, and it's uh, up to forty watts. And then we got the um, that's the one point two coil. You can see, you know, there's quite a big difference in there. You've got smaller holes there. And uh, you know the diameter is a lot smaller. Uh, this is just a standard coil, and we have uh, this is a PNP TR1, which is the um, 1.2, and it is up to 15 watts. If you compare them, you know, just uh, you know, between them, uh, you can see the air intakes. You know, that one is a lot smaller um, than that one. The holes, obviously, they are. Um, it it does take all the PNP coils, um, so you know you're, you're not going to be lost for uh, for coils, you know, for that one. That's your airflow there, which is um, you know it's it's, it's a fairly good um, in, you know airflow with a bit of, of button so I can control it and it's not a very loose one, so it's not accidentally you know going to slip uh, from you. Um, and then you get this lanyard thing there, which uh, I don't know, not, not many people are happy with it, but um, there it is, you know, it's there. If you want to stick a lanyard on, you got the genie chip inside, 
He also got the Argos, you know, faint, uh, faintly, you know, uh, imprinted there. He got the Vupu there. That's about it, really. The Vupu Argos pod. Now this, I got the the RDL. It is actually a direct lung. It can be a direct lung, but this is a very, very loose one. Plenty of vapor, very good flavor, no spit back. So it's a 0 0.3 coil in there and um, you know, it works very well. Obviously I have the um, airflow at, um, you know, opened all the way. It gives a very, very good vapor on the, uh, I would say it's, it's um, sort of a direct lung really. Um, it can be used RDL. You can use it as an RDL if you close the airflow altogether. Let's give it a try. Yeah, you can. I got it on 30 watts at the moment. Uh, that's for the uh, one. It can go up to 40 watts. Let's uh, switch it over to the uh, MTL uh, one of it, uh, part of it. I'll leave the airflow open altogether. Now that becomes a very, very um, uh, loose, you know, MTL, a very loose MTL, uh, bordering on RDL. You can do a bit of an RDL with it. Now I'll, I'll close the um, airflow for the MTL then, I'll close it all together. Now that becomes, you know, um, it becomes a loose MTL. Um, you know, it's not, um, it's not a proper MTL, it's not a tight draw. So if you're looking for a tight draw, forget about this one. So it, it, it's a bit of a shame. I mean, I, I would have liked it to be you know, more of a, a, a much more tight draw for uh, that one. Now, I, I got two um, or a couple of things, or maybe one that is the most Im important one. Um, on that one, it's got the, when you put the uh, 1.2 coil in there, it goes up to 15 max. There's uh, nothing you can do about it. If you try and put it, you know, any more, any, any higher, it, it doesn't. It tells you, you know, max. I could do with say 17, 18 watts, you know, sometimes, but I don't have that option with the uh, with that particular one. So that's a bit of a down, really, uh, you know, for uh, that one. I'm, uh, that's what you know does make me, you know, very amused with it. 15 watts, just about makes it. It, at 15 it gives a very good throat hit. I'm, I mean, I, I don't have you know too many qualms about it, but. Um, Sometimes you would want a bit more um, and a bit more restricted, um, you know, draw on that one. And hence, the, you know, that's why it's not satisfying, you know, as an MTL, uh, you know, basis. Flavor is very good on it. I mean, it depicts the flavor very well. Throat it is quite good, although, you know, you could do it a bit more either higher wattage or a more restricted, uh, you know, mouth to lung. So is it a, a, a proper mouth to lung? Uh, the answer is no. So, but if you're looking for a loose MTL, that's fine, that will do. On an RDL or direct lung basis, it works perfect. You know, there's, um, uh, there's no trouble in there. Seeming it is being sold as an RDL and an MTL uh, with 1.2 coil, uh, it's not really an MTL. So, um, you, know, be, you know, be careful of that, you know, if you're um, thinking about, you know, getting one of them. Price is, um, we're talking about, um, what? 23, 25 um, pounds, in, you know, in the UK. It's a decent price, really, you know, considering what you get. You get two pods, you get two coils. Um, it's a USB-C as well. So, um, uh, you know, and it's a nice size. You know, it's, it's not that heavy at all. And, um, you know, it's... For the price, yeah, it is quite a good one. Only if you're looking for a loose MTL. For tight MTL, as I said before, you know, forget it. The, the conclusion really is, um, if, if you like, you know, a small type of mod, um, that, that could be one of them. It's the, the variety of PNP coils that you can use with it. It's a very good one as well. But it's more geared to direct lung and, and restricted direct lung. So that's my opinion about it. It's good. Uh, but it's not for MTL, uh, you know, proper MTL use. Uh, but that's about it. Any questions, um, you know, please fire away, you know, leave them in, in the comments below and I'll answer you as soon as I can. And thank you very much for watching. Uh, your subscriptions are highly appreciated. And I'll see you again in another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.